Okay, so I decided to undergo a little bit of little bit of a project, and I think I'm going to start doing these video blogs. Um, and the intention behind them will be to basically help clarify my thoughts while I'm learning quantum mechanics. Um, I may do other video blogs, but right now this this is what I'm uh, going to do. I'm going to try and do it kind of like a, a uh, what a TA would do in a review session. But basically, I'm reviewing for myself, um, and I'll post the videos up. And if other people want to make comments or ask for clarifications, I think that'd be a good thing because it'd help me uh, learn a little bit better. Um, so there are going to be two books that I'm going to be using. Um, one of them is the textbook that that's actually required for class, and that's Quantum Mechanics, uh, or sorry, Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, Second Edition uh, by David Griffiths. Um, an author I, I kind of like in terms of textbooks, um, but this is the that's the book they're using. Uh, and then another one, which is really meant for self-study, and since I'm really doing this self-study, uh, is the Principles of Quantum Mechanics, Second Edition by R. Shankar. And this is a much thicker book, and uh, it uh, it goes much further in depth. So I'll be using these two books. Uh, trying to learn quantum mechanics. I'll hop right into kind of the center of things. Uh, I saw, I'm sorry if it uh, loses some people if I, when I do this, but if people ask questions for clarification, I think that's a good way for, for me to actually test my understanding and see if I can explain it to people. Um, so, well, let's get started. So, the central equation in quantum mechanics is Schrodinger's equation. This very terse and, uh, well, this very terse equation has a lot of deep uh, meaning, and also a lot of interpretation is required to even understand what it means. Uh, because in there, it has this, you know, weird bracket-looking thing, which is an indication that the, the that we're talking about vectors of a particular kind. There's this H, which is uh, the Hamiltonian, which ha has its own long history, and then there's this IH bar, which of course brings into uh, the dynamics of quantum uh, complex analysis, and there's the time derivative, uh, and then there's this notion of psi, which is the wave function, um, and the wave function is embedded within brackets indicating that it is treated as a vector, um, and all this is rather complicated and has all sorts of subtleties, even though the equation is only a few symbols uh, long. But I'll save going into the wave equation and various other things till the next entry, uh, because I'm hungry, and because hopefully my video making skills will improve as time goes on, and I don't want to bore people for too long.